One of the things that few people think about, other than perhaps gunsmiths, when it comes to the semi-auto pistol is the headspace, dimension, or chamber length. And we hear a lot about that in the rifle world, but not quite as much when it comes to the semi-auto pistol. Now, one of the reasons for that is because a lot of people think, well, you've got a, a recoil spring that's putting opposing tension on the barrel and the slide assembly, and your, your headspace is, is zero or it automatically adjusts itself, and that's not the case at all. Uh, achieving correct headspace dimension or making sure that you've got the correct chamber length, which is really what we're talking about here, uh, is just as critical to the safe operation of a semi-auto pistol as it is any other gun, bolt gun, uh, long rifle, uh, semi-auto, what have you. And one of the things that is kind of bringing this discussion up to the front nowadays is because so many people are doing their own work. You know, you can buy so many aftermarket parts. For example, you can buy a slide from this manufacturer, you could buy a barrel from that manufacturer. Well, you're bringing those two items together and putting them on a, on a frame that was built yet by another manufacturer and making sure that all those components not only work together, but work together safely and uh, exhibit the proper uh, dimensions, at least when it comes to the chamber, that's critical. If you have, uh, say, your chamber is too short or it's too long per SAMI standards, you can have a very dangerous condition. Uh, excessive pressure buildup, for example, it could damage the gun, it could harm the shooter. So very important that we make sure that whether you're using an old gun or you're putting together a new one with different parts, that the chamber length is at the SAMI standard. And the only way that you can do that is by uh, gauging them with go and no-go gauges. Now these are very precise gauges that will make sure that you are running at the minimum and the uh, maximum allowed chamber lengths for whatever your pistol is and cartridge that you're using. So we're going to show you how to do that now. Go and no-go gauges are precision gauges that are designed to check for minimum and maximum chamber length as determined by SAMI standards. Now, SAMI stands for Shooting Arms and Ammunition Manufacturers Institute. Chamber length is measured from the breech face, where the firing pin protrudes, to the uh, chamber shoulder, where the cartridge case mouth abuts. Now, an ideal chamber length is one that fully supports the cartridge, meaning that the cartridge head is almost or only lightly contacts the breech face, and the cartridge case mouth is in contact with the chamber shoulder, when in the closed and locked firing position. SAMI specifications allow for slight variances in safe chamber lengths. A 9 by 19 millimeter chamber measured from the breech face to the chamber shoulder, for example, has a 0.754 inch minimum and a 0.776 maximum length. Now that's a difference of only 0.022 inches. Now as you can see, that's not much. By using go and no-go gauges, it's a simple matter to determine if a semi-auto pistol's barrel and slide combination falls within the SAMI standard. To check your pistol's chamber length, the extractor and the plunger assembly should be removed from the slide. Next, Carefully reinstall the slide and barrel onto the pistol frame. Thoroughly clean the go gauge with denatured alcohol. Now you'll want to remove any oils or debris that may interfere with an accurate measurement. Pull the slide rearward and then insert the go gauge into the chamber. Push the slide forward. Now it should move into its closed and locked firing position, indicating that the slide and barrel combination meets the minimum safe chamber length. If the slide does not move into the closed and locked firing position, the pistol should be considered unsafe to fire. Now you can get a gunsmith to ream the chamber to its proper length or try different barrel and slide combinations until a proper and safe dimension is achieved. Now remove the go gauge and repeat the process with a no-go gauge inserted into the chamber. When you move the slide forward, the barrel should not move into its closed and locked position with the no-go gauge installed. 
This indicates that the barrel and slide combination is within the maximum safe chamber length. If the slide does close and the barrel moves into the lock firing position, it means the chamber length exceeds the maximum safe specifications and the pistol should be considered unsafe to fire. The solution in this case would be to try different slide and barrel combinations to find one that falls within the safe specifications. Remembering to check things such as chamber length uh, can be difficult when you just got a new slide or a barrel and solve some other part and you just want to get out there and start shooting. But dimension standards are set for a reason and that's to keep you safe. So if you like to work on your guns, great, we do too. But make sure you're safe, check the chamber length, uh, it's just good safe practice and you'll be glad that you did.